Good morning. I'm Ann Wade, teacher, author, coach, and creator of the Story Shift Method for making peace with your past without pretending something's never happened or didn't hurt. That last part is really important because sometimes we think the only way we can make peace with our past is to gaslight ourselves, to pretend. That's not true. We can also change our story and change our life. Also, without lying to ourselves, gaslighting ourselves, or pretending. One of the ways that we get to do that is by using the four essential questions. And right now we're doing we're using those questions within my annual program called Dream, Dare, Decide, Do. Using those questions to figure out what we want our new year to look like. Well, I can't ever do that till January. I mean, you know, October to December in our family is just nuts. In, in addition to the holidays, we have birthdays and anniversaries. And by the time the new year rolls around, it's like, oh, oh. I haven't had any time to really look back reflectively on the year that just came. Certainly haven't had time to get quiet and envision the year I want to come. This doesn't happen till January. Till January. Well, here we are. So I wanted to talk to you just a little bit, um, some additional uh, input on question one, because there are four questions here. And one, the, the, excuse me, the very first question asks us to get very clear on what we really want. Because sometimes what we want isn't, what we think we want isn't what we really want. And and if we send, if we send out vague um, desires, well, guess what? We get vague results back. So I thought I'd tell you a little story. This is a funny one. Um, I think it's funny, but it's about one of my favorite TV shows that was um, back in the early aughts, I think. But it was called Boston Legal, and it starred James Spader, William Shatner, and Candace Bergen. Now, William Shatner played this very self-obsessed, pompous character. His name was Denny Crane. And Denny was always trying to insert his name. And, and, and you know, from a distance, he looks very insecure. But um, close up and in the show, he played it off like he's like... I'm all that. I'm Denny Crane. Well, this is why that's my this is my favorite episode. So this character hears about or maybe watches the movie The Secret, and he decides that that sounds good. He's going to put that to work for him. He's going to wish for uh, this great sexy lover. So, and he's going to wish and wish and wish and, and visualize. So he sits here and he visualizes Raquel Welch. And he's like scratching up his face and clenching his fist and just. And picturing Raquel Welch. Like he's trying to force her to appear right in front of her, but he's just sitting right there. And he's all clenched up. And he's not allowing, he's trying to force. And guess what? Nothing happens. She doesn't appear. So then Denny, being Denny, has to throw a tantrum. You know, this is this is a scam. I, they're all just charlatans. Yeah, I'm going to sue those people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sue those people. <laughs> and, and he was so good in this character. Well, Later on in the day, <clears throat> the doorman for their building comes up to Denny's office and he says, there's a celebrity here to see you. A celebrity? And so Denny gets all excited again and he changes his tune and he changes, turns around to James Spader's character and he goes, secret, got the secret. <laughs> Door opens and in walks Phyllis Diller. I kid you not. Phyllis Diller. And the horrified look on Shatner's face. I mean, they get it in close up. It is hilarious. It is priceless. 
Well, it turns out that the character Phyllis Diller is playing was an old flame of Denny's, and and he, she actually represented lots of great sex to him. Well, I mean, he did wish for great, sexy lover, but he wasn't any more specific than that. So often when we think we want, want one thing and we picture it a certain way, we'll, we'll discover that the reality of it isn't really what we wanted at all. I mean, look, he got what he wished for. I mean, just because he was wishing and hoping it was going to be Raquel Welch, that he didn't do anything except sit there and go, that was it. As if that could make it happen. That's not the way it works. He took no action. He didn't deal at all with the next question. We'll be getting to that tomorrow. Um, but he just wished and hoped. That was it. That was it. The question here is, do you know what you really want? Of course, the story I tell on myself is I spent most of my adult life searching for the perfect house, finally realizing that what I wanted was the feeling of being at home. I wanted a house that felt nurturing to me and welcoming to my family and friends. And I could create that in any house as long as I created it here first. Finding home was a self-healing opportunity for me. For me. So the second step in this is the topic of the third video in the Dream, Dare, Decide, Do video series. It'll be on my YouTube channel. If you are watching this on January 24th, 1920, excuse me, 19, 2024, it'll be landing tomorrow. And um, But you can see this one right now um, about what do you really want? And it is titled, I just want to feel better. Yeah, because that's the, that's the title of this video, because that's deep down what we all want. We just want to feel better. And sometimes we need to dig down into what that means so that we can get clear, we can get clarity instead of stay, staying vague about what we really want. So I ask you to go now to my YouTube channel, Ann Wade Becoming Found, and watch this video I just want to feel better. Have a great laugh about William Shatner and Raquel Welch and Phyllis Stiller, because that can happen to any of us. So go get clear so it doesn't happen to you. Bye for now.